What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Boosa GS Week! Another score card reaction for y'all, and you already know what it is. Let's get it. Alright, man, cool. Look, the energy is good, the vibes are good. GS Gang was popping. Zambia, what's up? Uh, we got another themed week. I gotta stop calling it that. It's not even a week. We got another deep dive. Uh, we're gonna deep dive into the Zambian hip hop scene. Huge shout out to uh, all the artists who have reached out to me. Uh, specifically, shout out to Holster too, who has provided us with uh, commercial bangers as well as some underground cats from um, cats we may not like have known uh, up until this point. Uh, we're gonna do like the entire How to Rap Two album review. Probably do that in two parts. Uh, we're definitely tapping in with more from like Philip Wemba, uh, more from Jesse Jazz. There's a bunch of shit coming, dog. So if you guys are interested in this, if you guys want to come for the deep dive and really dig into the music scene, make sure you guys tap in. Do me a favor. Run the gauntlet. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Little bell notification guy. We about to eat, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. So this is Mackie 2, uh, which we've never heard before. Actually, we've never heard anybody on this. This is Mackie 2 featuring Chef 187 and Toella Kyra. If I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. Just correct me in the comments. Uh, as always, things, uh, as ever, always, guys, with uh, whenever we go with deep dive into a new hip hop scene or the one that we're not 100% familiar with, the GS Gang's role in this. Uh, if you are a fan and there's anything that you can translate, context you can give into, like the importance of certain bars or just um, local context that we may miss on this. Everything that you guys load the comments up with down there uh, just makes it easier for international viewers to appreciate uh, the art in the way that it was meant to be appreciated. So all comments are always welcome. We're about to dig into this. Also, I got to say this before we get into it. Mackie 2, this is a cool name. I don't really get it yet, right? Tawella Kyra, that sounds like somebody's real like government name. Chef 187 is a fire handle, duh. <laughs> Yo, fucking, um, who was a hoster told me when, we, when I was interviewing him, he mentioned him. He's like, when he's one of the, the big cats that were over there that I would like. And I was like, yo, that, that name goes fucking hard, duh. <laughs> but let's get into it, man. Uh, we got a full video, it looks like, too. A full screen for you. Okay. I'm in! I don't, like, that's how you start a video. Okay, we locked in. Also... That's thug as shit. She got the butterflies on the... I like that. I fuck with that. If you're gonna go uh, and you're gonna rob a bank, I'm assuming this is something along those lines, at least have your nails done. That's a fly outfit. Let's go. We're doing movie reactions now. <laughs> this is fire. They even got the little general audio shot up there. Okay, I see you. The, the, the no plates on the whip was a nice touch. Dopest, freshest name in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Young Chef. 54 drums. Toella. KMP, baby. Let's talk to him. Family, take fella for Mountain Daimo. When I'm Palama, never soon got him up. Family, Bululu, tell you, poor chap. Depends, no one to feel the sack. What? You see, family, never the best. Solo, you don't do a solo. Nadi, no more too late. By Pele, so Chinda, that sandwich from a rare, no, they can't too late. Alright, so this is this yeah, this is a vibe right now, right? This is definitely like this this is giving like trap feels almost off to it. I see you, let's go. Yeah, yeah, Get into it. Uh, a couple things to point out. Number one, the production on this is absolutely amazing. Whoever produced this, 
uh, Chef's Kiss. That, that shit is, is fire, right? The way her vocal track is laid, uh, it's, it's carrying. It's carrying right now. That was that was a super, super dope run she had. Uh, the hook is fire. Obviously, any translations on the first verse is appreciated, but what we can point out as far as music theory goes, if you look at the contrast in tone and just overall voice between the, the first artist and the second artist when she came in, it's a very, very complimentary sound. It sounds beautiful. It's a good transition, and her voice comes in so powerful, the, like, like on the transition into it like like that shit that hit that was fire dog let's go she give that uh she give that a Londa rich vibe right look up uh Stogie T featuring Benny the Butcher and Alanda Rich Animals, right? That's the vibe she gives, which is a fire vibe to give off. Shout out to her. Yo. Hey Toella, welcome to the edition show. The game full of ups and downs, it's like a CISO. A CISO, how bitter it is. Now Baba genuinely wants it, it just left in tears. Y'all gon' be the way. Yeah, this life ain't fair. You ever need me, know that I'll forever be there Whatever little that I have, I'm down to share Cause that's family, it's so love, I swear yeah, it's so love, I swear to I see that you do lot of it, but share we dare to Dream of creating generational wealth Petty finger when it's only when I need some help Cause nobody ever really wins when the family feels Plus we got too many real winners for family bills I'm talking to them Let's go! That was fire! Yo, not only that, there's definitely... If you, you notice themes uh, and motifs in, in, in different areas of music in different regions. And I gotta say, the amount of just positive message that's in Zambian hip-hop is abundant. Like, I've, I've, I've seen way more shit that has uplifting messages like that than I have, like, true violence, you know what I'm saying, on the hip-hop scene over there, which is dope. So I'm, I'm for both, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I, that was a fire bar. And the way that they do it, like, it's still gully. Like, it wasn't cheesy good. There's positive that's, like, cheesy good, you know what I mean? And then there's, like, there's just, like, when you have somebody who's just gully and, like, able to just make shit sound cool, like, there are certain people that can just, like, say the most uplifting, like, like, dweeby type shit but like it just it still sound hard because it's come from someone that's cut from that cloth like it's still authentic you know what i'm saying that was fire bring that shit back the two of them playing off each other too i'm here dream of creating generational wealth that you think when it's only when i need some help cause nobody ever really wins when the family feels plus we got too many bread winners for family bills i'm talking <laughs> That's your merch right there. You wear that on a t-shirt. That's one more time. Fuck you, it's my channel. I'll bring it back as much as I want. That let's go. Believe me, know that I'll forever be that whatever little that I have. I'm down to share, cause that's family. It's so love, I swear. Yeah, it's so love, I swear to. I see that you do lot of it, but share we dare to. Dream of creating generational wealth. That you think we'll it's only when I need some help. Cause Nobody ever really wins when the family feels Plus we got too many real winners for family bills I'm talking to my daughter like, hey Faith Have faith in your family for family's sake You know sake. love and hate On any given night or day you know what's beautiful about this is this is one of the songs, this is like an event song, right? This is something that you can play at like a family gathering of some sort. This is something that if you play this at a wedding, if you play, you know what I'm saying? Like you could, this is, this has utility outside of it just being a good song. Because it's, it's, it's got such a good message, such a good vibe, and such a good sound to it, like you will, you will integrate songs like this into your life. And, and like that's important, like that, that's a, that's a cultural staple, you know what I'm saying? This is fire. Still choose my family for everything. Friends on the down on line, but on a given day or night, I would still choose my family for everything. That's thicker than water. That's thicker than water. That's thicker than water. Thicker than water. Family over everything. Making me hungry. <laughs> 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 
Rambi wa bululu beta walila wa kofi Vamo fimbile mitima bari kaka kofi Shika You see, I, I, all I, I don't know what he's saying, but I'm kind of glad because I, that's the the presentation of this verse is not one that that's welcoming critique. <laughs> like, let's go, my guy. This no. Why does it get so intimidating at the end? Like, this is like why we was just we was just on the lawn in all white having this beautiful dinner and shit, and now and now we had a cult meeting and and homie looks like they are about to fuck some shit up. Bloodline of kings, the living Nabayashi. See my jeans, the blood in my veins, I call it Family over everything. That was a beautiful way to end that, too. To be continued. That was fire, dog. Like, before I even go to the scorecard or nothing like that, load the comments up. What were your thoughts on this? Because this is, well, like I said, this is more than just, like, a commercial track. This is, like, this is, like, borderline, like, anthem type type shit. You know what I mean? Like, you start entering into that area when it's something that you're going to use into, like, specific situations in your life and shit like that. That was fire. Um, this is a hell of a first appearance from all of these cats. Uh, let's get smoke. Why are we small? Why not small? Let's get small. We're small. All right, let's go to the scorecard. Let's see how we really felt about it. Now, we should go to the non-English uh, split. Now, uh, for those of you who are new here, the way that this works, I'm going to pull up the scorecards. Each of these are weighted differently uh, based on the type of song that we've seen, right? So the non-English split is exactly what it sounds like because the first and last verse weren't in English. Um, the, the language is then... Um, the, the lyrics are taken out as far as the scoring goes so that we can focus on the aspects that we were actually able to like go and break down while watching if that makes sense um, and they are weighted differently so let's go to the top uh, da -da. this was from previous shit right yeah all right let's get into it um, so we are new to everybody here if you guys are new to the channel in order for me to become a fan of you you gotta catch at least three of them. This is one for one for everybody involved. This was fire, dog. Target audience for this one. Yeah, absolutely. This is this is definitely proper setting. Look, this is your mob playlist, dog. This is your mob playlist. If you go listen like that type of music, you go like you get that 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 SA to US connection, the Stogie T and Betty the Butcher, that Nigerian shit you put on your paper curly on. Like this is for that mob music. You know what I'm saying? Like that's we here for it. We here for it. Category judged as um, it is gonna be more of like anthem slash uh commercial music as opposed to like an underground jaunt the delivery of vocals i'm gonna pause this real quick and get back because the weight is different once and we're back all right so what i did is i filled in the maximum amount of points for this card uh so for delivery and vocals here's what i'll say for the first and third verse where we couldn't actually understand any of the translation what was not lost was any of the flow was any of the grit was any of the delivery the energy the vocal the tone all the things that we could understand that we we're able to appreciate there i think that was 100 percent on point uh then you go into the the actual vocals the singing right like that shit that shit was fire i think it carried i think it honestly it was the carry on this shit um Overall, everything is at least like I give it a 25. I give it a 25 out of 30. I give it a 25 out of 30. Beat selection for what it was, the type of music that it was, the way ugh, it's perfect, dog. Beat selection, sound quality, mixing. I'm giving 20 out of 20, 20 out of 20. Nothing I would change. There's, there's literally nothing that I would change in those scenarios. Like this, this sound quality of this was was international. Like it was, it was beautiful, dog. Uh, the effectiveness. Does this make you want to go and check out more from these artists? I give this one like a solid 12 out of 15. 12 out of 15 for sure. Enjoyability. Um, I give it the same thing. 12 out of 15. That's where I'm at with it. I give this one a solid uh, 89. Eight, well, actually, plus one for the video. You get a miscellaneous point because the video was fire, yo. The video was high quality. The, everything about this was dope, dog. 90 out of 100. 90 out of 100, that's my score. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited about uh, Zambia? We're going to deep dive into Zambian hip-hop scene uh, number two for the second time. Uh, is there anyone that you think down in the comments, like, yo, we absolutely cannot have a deep dive into Zambian hip-hop without featuring this track? Let me know. I'll get my quality team to check some of them out and see what's fit for the channel as always i love y'all i appreciate y'all i will catch y'all on the next one let's go